Tell me about this place. Describe it for me. Oh. You just walk out of the woods of tall pines and trees into this valley of beautiful flowers, all colors, some I haven't even seen before. And they're so vivid and so bright. And there's just so many. It's like a river of flowers. Tell me more. And then, oh, the beauty and the smell. And then I look up on the hill and there's a gazebo. And I walk towards it. And I go up the stairs. And I open the door and I see myself sitting at a table and there's a beautiful woman on the other side. Describe her for me. What does she look like? She has a, a white robe, sash tying it, and Oh, beautiful blonde hair with waves and curls in it and piercing ice blue eyes and pale skin. She's very beautiful, very knowledgeable, and she wants to talk to me. All right. So allow this now as she begins to talk. Connect with her mind to mind. What is your name? Diane. Mm -hmm. Tell Diane about Diane. What is the conversation all about? Listen now. We're very proud of you. Mm -hmm. You're following your path. You did stray. But you're on it now for sure. The earth needs people like you everywhere to just be and hold Hold like an umbrella of light, always, and share it with others, and make it really big sometimes to cover a large area, and hold that space of light and love unconditionally for anyone who needs it. Mm -hmm. Now, Diane wanted to know who you were. Who are you? Are you her higher self? Or a guide? Guide. Guide. Do you have a name? Angelica. Angelica. She was wondering if you're an angel. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what role do you play in her everyday life here on earth her guardian her guardian well it seems you've been doing a very good job of keeping her alive oh she's a wild one mm -hmm. would you tell her about that i can't even blink mm -hmm. and she's doing something mm -hmm. she doesn't pay attention when she's driving she texts she's a lousy driver mm -hmm. Um, she needs to pay more attention. So she's had a lot of mishaps, and she was telling me about an accident she had oh, on yes. 27, where she was ended up in a ditch. Yes. Can you tell me what happened that day? Yeah, she had taken medication to go visit with a doctor appointment that was a couple hours away. And she fell asleep 
But she woke up. She caught herself. And then she thought she had it. It was like a three hour drive. And then she fell right to sleep. And I knew that the bumping and the grass and the medium was going to wake her up. It jostled her. And it did. And then I put my finger on top of the car because it was spinning at this point and I was controlling the spin so that when she went back into her lanes and ended up in the ditch she would end up with her head sticking up mm -hmm. instead of down because that would have killed her. Were there any others that were helping you or were you the only angel there? Yeah, she's a handful, so it's me. Mm -hmm. and, and there was a kind, a kind human. He was th in the same situation, mm -hmm. and he helped her and me. He helped, he helped calm her down so she would loosen up on the steering wheel and loosen up on the brake mm -hmm. so that I could control the car mm -hmm. spinning. Now she tells me that there was an officer who had died in that same area. Is this the kind human you're talking about? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this officer that died in that area, is he now taking care of that highway? Yes. Mm. He watches it all the time because he misses his family so much mm -hmm. that he doesn't want anyone else to have to go through that. Mm -hmm. Has he gone to the light? No, he's still wandering the highway. Hmm. He's just scared for other people. He doesn't want them to suffer. Wouldn't it be easier for him to do his job if he were to go to the light? I don't know. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Would it be beneficial to assist him today? Yeah. All right. So Angelica, I'd like for you to go ahead and connect with him. Can we connect with him now and assist him? Yes. All right. So I'm going to count from one to three. And is he, if he is in agreement to have him, to have us help him, bring him through. One, two, and three. I'm Bob. Hi, Bob. Hello. Bob. Thank you very much for saving, helping save Diane from that accident and for all of those you've assisted. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. But Bob, it seems to me that you haven't gone home yet. There's so many to save. Mm -hmm. But you see, Bob, you can save them by being a guide. I don't know about that. Would you like to see what it's like? to go to the light now and you can make that decision yeah all right so Bob inside of you there is a little spark of light oh. you may not have noticed it but it's there yeah this is the God spark this is what created you mm -hmm. go ahead and expand that light and tell me how that feels it's amazing mm -hmm. this is the love that fe that it feels like to be connected to your Creator I'd like for you to expand that light as big as you can. And tell me if you're being called home. I have like gold all around me. Mm. And it's pulling me up. Very good. So I'm going to ask for the angels of the white light to surround you, Bob, so that you can be escorted. Oh. And tell me when you get there. Yeah. What's it like? The spider web. 
Feels like you're being pulled up on a spider web. Mm hmm. Who's there? Oh, it's so beautiful. Mm hmm. Is there anyone there to greet you? My father. What does he tell you? Good job, son. Mm hmm. So, Bob, you'll be able to go to school and find out what it is that you want to do next. Oh, so, thank you so much. Thank you. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Take a deep mm. breath in. Let me now speak with Angelica once again. Thank you very much for that, Angelica. You're so welcome. Mm -hmm. Diane was wondering how many guides are Five. helping her. Five. What are, the, what are their names? Who are they? It's like... Do they have names? One, I can't... It's like Enlil, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, yeah, Enlil. Enlil? Mm-hmm. And what is Enlil's role in her life? It's to help lay down the path. Mm-hmm. And to give her path choices. Mm-hmm. It seems she's been getting quite a few choices. Where did they stay or go? Yes. Was that in Lal's help? He did what God told him to do. Okay, good. Who else is helping her? What's the next guide? If they don't have names, just tell me their purpose in our life. What do they do? Keep her out of trouble. Mm. I would say that would be a whole bunch of them that would be needed for that, huh? Yeah, so there's five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One for the house. There's two in the house usually because she falls a lot. Mm -hmm. What's making her fall so much? Um, it's the diseases that she has, mm -hmm. and she loses her balance mm -hmm. and tumbles, or it's just real fast mm -hmm. and she can't catch herself. Okay. Any other guides that are helping her with that, with her life? She met David mm -hmm. a long time ago. Tell me what David does in her life. Well, she didn't believe that it's really him. Mm -hmm. She tried to talk to him. She met him in, a, in under a tree. Mm -hmm. He came out of a field, and he was very nice. And and he hugged her and held her, and he just sat under the tree, and she fell asleep in his lap. What does David do for her? Does he um, comfort her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. He tries to help protect her heart. Mm -hmm. <coughs> How is he doing? Very good Very right good. now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Who's the last one that that helps her? Kyle? Mm -hmm. What does Kyle do? Gets her up. <laughs> Gets her moving. Motivates her to try <coughs> to... to Get up and do things, housework. What does she, what does he do with that? Um, he makes her have to go pee, so she has to get off the couch. <laughs> Good. 
Thank you, Angelica. You're welcome. Now, I'd like to know, is there anyone that's trying to tell me something? Azazel. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that. Hmm. Diane got involved with helping people clear their homes mm -hmm. of negativity. Mm-hmm. People would find her there. They would just open their computer sometimes and her website would be there. Mm -hmm. They don't know how or why. And sometimes they would just have my number in their phone and they would already be ringing. Mm -hmm. And they would look at it and hold it up to their ear. and Or they were planning to go see a psychic or a medium to soothe their souls suffering of their loss and they would find her either through a friend or just stumble we we set it up so that they stumble mm -hmm. onto her and she went to the catholic priest to make sure she wasn't doing anything wrong and that it was safe for her to do and that she was a warrior for source God, Mother, Father, God. I like swords. Mm -hmm. um. So what does Azazel do now? <sighs> it's a pain in my ass. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what the priest explained to me is that when I was 15, I sat up in my bed and had my arms straight out and I looked up at the ceiling and I said, God, I am one of your warriors. Use me as you see fit. I thought that was weird when I did it. Now it's making sense. Mm -hmm. And so the priest told me, to imagine walking down a dark road on a sidewalk, poorly lit, and on the left side of me is a chain link fence, and there's guard dogs in there, Dobermans, and they are like the lower energy negative energy souls or other demons mm -hmm. you know um, just low vibration <clears throat> and he said you're gonna feel them snap their teeth at you through the you know look at their nose through the little hole and their spit may get on me through their snout mm -hmm. blowing it and to just ignore them and to just keep walking and have faith and keep walking and they won't get me because the fence is there and I'm safe it's like their bark is worse than their bite and then I was assigned to a lady who wanted to commit suicide and I couldn't get through it was like a kryptonite dome was over me and I couldn't get through to get any information and I had been seeing in my mind's eye um, a goat head and it looked like it had been carved out of um, obsidian mm -hmm. and a black cape and it hung past the hands, but the hooves I could see, just barely. And it just flashes in my mind for a couple weeks, and then until it the dog's out and it was standing, very tall, very tall. Only like on my property line and my neighbors. And it was far away, but I could see him with my real eyes. Mm -hmm. And then that same day, my friend called and said, could she bring her sister over? And she did. And then that's when 
like a capsule came over me and I couldn't pick up anything. Mm -hmm. But then what was weird is my right arm lifted and pointed right at her and said, this is you. This is all your fault. And it pointed to his to her sister. And it turned out she had been taking medication, prescription, and alcohol, and kept her mother's clothes and would go smell them. And she had three children of her own. And she wanted to take her own life to be with her mother rather than stay on earth and mother her own children. And I explained that to her. And I explained that she's not ready to go. She has her children to raise. Mm -hmm. And then I told her that the whispers you hear, and I know she did, was like when she would be cutting up vegetables or peeling potatoes, it would be like, go ahead, cut yourself, cut yourself, do it. You know, he would whisper into her ear. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, he played her so bad. And then, thank God, she came to me. And I was able to help her. Mm -hmm. Does he have any influence now over the life of Diane? I believe so. Mm -hmm. He's going to follow me mm -hmm. all the way till the end. Because from Mississippi to Memphis to Florida, mm -hmm. I've had to deal with him. So what does Azizel need? Me. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why. I don't want you to channel Azizel. I want you to communicate face to face with Azizel now. I'm going to count from one to three. I'm going to call Ford. Azizel, you speak to him now. One, two, and three. Look at him before you now. You may scare me or startle me. You will startle me, but you will never scare me. I carry the light of God, and I shine it brightly. And I'm shining it on to you. All right, take a deep breath in. What does Azizel say? Fuck you. Shine your shit somewhere else, bitch. Let's find out why Azizel is so angry. Because she keeps trying to take away my people. Mm. Who are her pe your people? Anyone that I can get into. Mm -hmm. Why is it that Azizel needs people? So that my father will love me. Mm -hmm. So it's not about you. It's about you not feeling good enough. Is that right? No. What do you think that's going to happen? I'm going to continue on forever. Mm -hmm. Who was your father? Lucifer. Mm. Satan. Mm -hmm. We're all one, basically. Mm -hmm. Do you really think Lucifer even cares about you? Of course he does. Mm -hmm. If he cared about you, he would have already acknowledged you. But the more I've, I've been on the get, earth, there's no time. He mm -hmm. doesn't have time. No matter how many people you get, he's never going to be happy with you. Do you understand that? Mm. Do you understand that? This will happen for the rest of your existence, and he will never be happy with you. You've picked the wrong side, Azizel. You've picked the wrong side. Lucifer's never satisfied with anything. He's never going to love you. You're looking for love. You're looking for acceptance. And by joining up with this one, you're never going to feel good enough. But I can stop her from saving people. Mm. How about saving yourself? I am what I am. Mm. I bet you've forgotten who you truly are. I am. Azizel, you have that light within you too. You have forgotten where you truly come from. I was thrown out. Mm. 
So you'll never feel accepted. No. No. But you see, that light can grow within you. You have that power. You never used it. Hmm. You have that light within you. Find it there. But I have my strength. But you have no love. You're looking for love from Lucifer. You're looking for acceptance. Lucifer will never accept you. You're an outcast. You went to him. Yes. Because you were... I'll an never. I will never go to heaven. Take a look and see. Take a look and see at that light inside of you. Do you know who I am? You are a child of the light. I was. You are. That light is still within you. No, it's, not. it's there. You just don't look at it. You've forgotten it. It's you been don't. burned out. It's never burned out. It can't be burned out. It's there. I'm a demon. Yes, it can. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. It's there. You just don't want to look. It's there. Fine. Look at it. Look at it. That light has never been gone. Never been gone. Hmm. It's there. You've forgotten about it. Yeah. Make it bigger and see how powerful that light is. You think oh my. You make it even more powerful. Feel that light. Feel that light. What does it feel like? It's easy. Well, this is nice, mm -hmm. but I'm staying. I have work to do. When you have this light, it doesn't even make sense. Because you have all the power inside of this light. You have all you need inside this light. There's nothing you need. Feel it. If you're still feeling that you need to be here, it's because you haven't made it big enough. You haven't connected strongly enough. Go ahead and connect. And once you connect, Azizel, you will feel the love. You will feel the forgiveness. You will understand that Source never throws any of its light out. You may be gone for a little while to learn lessons. To remember who you are. But you are part of this light. Tell me how that feels. That's happened to this. Well, I hate to say it, but you're right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call my team in now. I'm going to call my angels of the white light. And my archangels. Mm. Does Michael have to come? My, Michael's my main man. I want him to tell you what I tell everybody. Listen to him. What does he tell you? God loves everyone. And he forgives everyone. And you are his child, as I am. As we all are. Take my hand. Let me show you. That's it. Very good. Azizel, I'd like for you to disconnect all of your influence. Remove it from everyone that you have ever affected. Remove that darkness now. Separate yourself. Mm. And I'd like for you to replace it with that light of yours. That beautiful light. Shine it upon all those that you've been siphoning your energy from. Mm. And tell me when you're ready to go. The angels are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm beautiful now. So what would you like to tell Diane? Would you like her to forgive you for this? Yes, please. All right, take a deep breath in. Diane, can you forgive Azizel for forgetting who he was? Yes. Very good. So I'd like for you to send them off with light and love. My love to you, Zazel. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you were lost. Take a deep breath in. 
Aziz, are you ready to go now? Yes. Very good. I'd like for you to take Archangel Michael's hand and go back to that light and tell me what happens when you get there. So bright and beautiful and warm and loving. I haven't felt that. I haven't felt love. Mm -hmm. That's what you were looking for, Azizel, all this time. You're right. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize it. Very good. So I'd like for you now to go through this light of love and may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much, Azizel. Bless you. Thank you. Take a deep breath in now and let me speak with Angelica. Angelica. Yes. Take a look and see now how her future looks without Azizel attached to it. Oh, so much easier. Mm -hmm. So much easier. But I know this girl and she will go to those who are in need mm -hmm. and she will help them. And I'm worried about her getting another demon attachment. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to call in the Archangels. And let's do a little, a little ritual for her. Let's surround her. And I'd like all of them to shine their light on her. Oh. Calling in all the archangels, Saint Germain. Any, any, any ascended masters who would like to be here today? Let's do a ring around Diane. And let's pump up. Her aura, fortifying it. And as they do this, I'd like for you to tell me, Angelica, what it is that they're doing to her. They're giving her layers of protection. Mm -hmm. Very fine, thin layers. But the fibers are made so strong so that she can go help. She just needs to call upon us to be there. Mm -hmm. She was handling it herself with me. And she had to go through it. It was a lesson. Mm -hmm. And it is what Source had told her, you know, through the priest, mm -hmm. that they exist, they're there, she's a warrior, she wants to fight and help the light. Mm -hmm. But as a warrior of the light, she needs to call in the light. She can't go in there on her own. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's remind her that that's what she needs to do when she tries to help somebody. Yes. To set her intention. To get the assistance from their their guides and her guides in order to succeed in whatever she needs to do. Yes. Very good. Now she tells me that during meditations she's able to take people to meet the Arcturians and receive therapies. Can you tell me what's happening there? Can you make her go deeper? Mm -hmm. Of course. Go ahead. And count from 10 down to 1. With each number, I want you to see yourself going down a step. When I reach number 1, you'll be at the deepest level you need in order for you to access this information effortlessly. So take a deep breath in now. 10. Going down. Nine, <coughs> deeper and deeper. Eight, down. Seven, deeper. Six.
deeper. Two. And one. Be there now, activating your third eye. There she is, she's so cute. Mm hmm. Thank Tell you. me more. Thank you for, for doing that. Mm hmm. So let's now talk about the Arcturians. Yes. How is she connected with them? She's not Arcturian. Mm -hmm. She thought she was because she could connect with us. Mm -hmm. But she's found a way. Us engaging her while she was small mm -hmm. made it easier for her to understand as an adult. Mm -hmm. Who am I speaking with now? Are you one of the Octorians? No, it's Angelica. Okay. Angelica, are you one of the Octorians? No. No. So what is she doing with the Octorians? Why is she connected? She's labeled a soul ambassador. Mm, okay. And she... Is she can meet people on a high vibration, um, low vibrations this is too intense for, mm -hmm. and she does it out of love and to help heal them, and when the person's ready, usually they find her. And she meets with them and makes sure that they're safe and stable and and that they can handle this trip. And she takes them, she tells them how to meet her. Um, uh, in the, in just space, outer space. Mm -hmm. Very good. And they're just lights. Mm -hmm. No matter how many she takes. She's taken six before one time. Now when she meets with them in this high vibration, what's happening to those that she's helping? Oh, okay. So they go inside the crystal pyramid. It's black crystal, but it's really not. It reflects the, the darkness of space, so it looks black. Mm -hmm. And then the stars shine on it. That's why they don't find it with their telescopes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they cross over, and as soon as they step in, um, they have a human body. And it's the best that they were ever at in their life, their best health, um, the way they feel about themselves, and they have a white robe on to cover up. Mm -hmm. And as they step, the floor lights up so they can see where to go. And there's three, there's always three. Uh, one's an elder, and he's teaching, he's eight, like 800 years old or more, and he's helping the other two, like, what is it, protégés, like they're going to help take over when he finally transitions. Um, and it takes hundreds of years, though, to do what he does. Mm -hmm. um, he's kind of like their priestess. Mm -hmm. um, he has on a iridescent robe, all of them do. The high collar. It's like opalescent, mm -hmm. and their bodies, from what I can see, 
when they were open, open up, is they're non, non-sexual, asexual, and, um, and they're, they're kind of a bluish gray, mm-hmm. and they're very tall. Now, did she see these beings when she was younger? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. What connection does she have with them? The soul ambassador. Mm-hmm. So when she came here on this life and this planet, she was their ambassador? That was one of her missions okay. when she came here. All right. But it took a while for her to, to find it. Mm-hmm. But we did, you know, and it helped being when she was little. Because if we wouldn't have showed ourselves to her when she was little, she would not believe what she's mm-hmm. seeing now. Uh-huh. And it just affirms it. And once they come in, they go, and it's their turn. Because there's other humans there. I'm not sure who brings them or if they just find their way there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can talk to them. <laughs> and when it's your turn, you go and you sit on, uh, everything's crystal. Like like cor- crushed quartz crystal. And there's seven columns about their waist high and they're empty with a hollow but they have crystals inside of them each color of the chakras and they stand like five of them stand around you I'm always holding their hands so that way they know I'm there so I'm beside them Mm -hmm. and um and we can talk telepathically you know and um, what happens is, is uh, they the first one will go and scoop. They have large hands with four fingers, very bulbous fingers, long, and they scoop up the red crystals. And then mm, they almost look like Savorsky crystals. They're real shiny. Mm-hmm. And as he scoops them, his robe turns red. Mm. And he walks over and he pours them into the area of the red chakra, the root chakra. And it feels like salt being poured on your wrist. Yes. You know? And then the next color um, is another gentleman being. And his robe turns the color and all the way up, 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 up. And then once they're finished, then this light machine comes down and it has a mist to refract the lights so they don't hurt your eyes and the lights come down and they activate the crystals to I think solidify them they never kind of explained it to me but I know it's a good thing and it's like turning us in from carbon to crystalline because that's what we are so as Diane is there holding their hands, what does her body look like? Oh, she's back to like when she's 19. Mm-hmm. Bouncy hair, bright eyes, pretty skin. And let's take a look at her chakras when she's there. Oh, they're already crystalline. Mm, very good. In fact, they've turned white like selenite. Mm-hmm. They're not even colors anymore. Very good. So she wants to know if she had been a star being before. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. What planets are star systems? Not from ours. Mm-hmm. It was, it's from many universes away. Okay. As she, Has she heard a call. Mm-hmm. Okay. And of course, she's the first one to jump up and down, mm-hmm. as always. Okay. Could you tell me what call it was that she heard? It was like a beacon, and it was telepathic, and um, the beings that she was around. uh, Oh, we didn't have bodies. Mm -hmm. Uh, Like quasi-physical, like quasi, just kind of like you could see through us, but we were more like a jellyfish, Mm -hmm. you know, but we were pretty. (laughs) Was this on a planet? Um... Or just in space? Mm. Um, 
show her a picture of it. Oh, oh, um, there's, there's the main star, and then there's an A and a B, and she was at A. Okay. Um, the main star, Orion? Is it Orion? And that has two more. Yes. The B almost doesn't count because it's so small, but scientists found it. But she was on A. A, you can see it. So let's find out what this telepathic call was from Earth. What did she <gasps> yes. receive? It was Gaia. Mm -hmm. She was wailing out for help because the dark was so dark. I think it was darker than it's ever been mm -hmm. during the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, mm -hmm. you know, and in 2000, but 2012 is when the ball got kicked off. Mm -hmm. Everybody thought so many things were going to happen, but they did energetically. Like you can't see it. People that are sensitive could feel it. But others, you know, just go about their day and don't pay attention to things. Mm -hmm. um, Can you tell me what that would happen then? Oh, yeah. Lots of energy was released. Positive, wonderful, beautiful energy. More angels came down to earth to be with souls who maybe had just like one guardian angel. Mm -hmm. And they needed a little help. So more angels would come down. So the angels came down on 2012 and started helping the people because there were people who were committing suicide because of foreclosures and no money and there were men they wanted to be proud and they couldn't afford what they had and it was an embarrassment and a shame to them to be the breadwinner and the husband and the father and they saw that they saw them you know in other countries it's not like that here in America and we run things different. Mm -hmm. It's the almighty dollar, you know, God forbid you sleep in a hut, you know, <laughs> you have to have a big house, a big car, you know, the fence, the kids, all that. And that's all just made up. Now you all, of these, that. all of these angels that came in, is that why there's so much more spiritual awakening? Sometimes? Yes, exactly. All right, tell me what happened. What was the influence of these angels and beings? First, they ran to the ones who were suicidal mm -hmm. um, because they need the most help. And then they ran to the ones who were um, like desolate. Desolate? De desolate? Yeah, they were on, like, on their own. Their families gave up on them and, and they're by themselves. And they um, needed that help to find a shelter to help them realize they're not alone. Mm -hmm. So many people on this planet think that they're alone and they're not. They're so not. So what was it that allowed all of these that were unaware of their spirituality, what made them wake up? The angel mm -hmm. in their dream. Okay. I mean, this could be a homeless person sleeping behind a 7-Eleven with a duffel bag and a blanket, and the angels would touch him mm -hmm. and be in his dreams. And then they would help elevate him, and they would help him want to go in the restroom and wash his face, you know, mm -hmm. go buy a toothbrush and clean himself up and then help him find help from the communities and the churches. It's difficult. It's very difficult here to find help for people like that because churches are overwhelmed and the governments don't seem to really care. So let's focus now on the call that Diane heard. What yes. was her mission coming in? What did she plan to do when she incarnated here? She was to come and shine light everywhere. Mm -hmm. And just her being, just being, 
would touch others in their auric fields, like at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. uh, just her walking by someone can elevate their vibration, you know, and change. She doesn't even have to say anything, mm -hmm. you know, just as long as they're in that field, you know. And a lot of times, she's always noticed, like if you're waiting at a restaurant or you're, you're seated at a table, that everybody gets up and leaves. Mm -hmm. Like people, she's noticed it too many times. She even showed it to her daughter. She's like, watch, let's go sit in this crowd and watch what happens. And within five to 10 minutes, they were, they were all empty. <laughs> so let's find out what happens on the spiritual side. What happens when she sits in a place? Her vibration, it is, it's so elevated that the lower vibrations can't take it, so they have to get up and leave. Although she does help them raise theirs while she's sitting there, mm -hmm. but it annoys them and they just, they don't know what it is. And so they just make up an excuse, like a husband will tell a wife, you know, I'm not comfortable, I wanna stand, you know, or I wanna go outside and smoke. You know, they'll come up with a reason to have to get up or their number will be called to go to their table. Yeah, it's weird like that. Very good. Tell me what's happening now. What is affecting them? Clutter. Mm -hmm. Clutter. Diane has problems with letting go of things because she thinks she's letting go of the memory. Mm -hmm. So this clutter is keeping their relationship also cluttered? Yeah, because the house is cluttery and when the house is cluttery, you know, things are in disarray, it's, um, you have to organize, mm -hmm. clean out cobwebs, don't have dark corners for beings to hide in. She smudged a couple times and put salt down. Mm -hmm. There is something in there. The trickster hides mm -hmm. things. So once we have them move, it'll be better? Oh, it'll be gone, yeah. Okay. It'll be fine. So I'd like to do now something for clearing of this house so that she can declutter even easier. I'd like to ask now for all of those who would like to assist her with this exercise, let's bring in a beam of Source's light and shine it within her house. And let's find any of those souls who have been affecting her, her husband, her family. Let's shine it around this light and let's see what we find. There's that creepy little thing. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, what is, what is that creepy thing? It's dried out, mm -hmm. kinda looks like leather for skin mm -hmm. and, um, Long nails, <coughs> just dark, dried skin, mm -hmm. and wings. Mm -hmm. Well, we can't judge a book by its cover. Let's find out what this little being is doing there. It's like it's just a little creature, mm -hmm. and he's mischievous. He's mischievous. Oh, and he plays with the cats okay. all the time. So. This little creature, is this, is he from the nature or from where? Where is he coming from? Let's connect with him telepathically. The earth. The earth. So what is it that he finds interesting in your home? Me. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what he wants from you. My light's oh. so bright that it irritates him. Ah. And he was there first. Okay. All right. And he takes the remote and hides it, my cell phone. Mm -hmm. I can put a fork on the counter and it's gone. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that he needs. What does he need? Attention. Okay. Attention. Mm -hmm. Or he just needs to go back into the earth. Let's find out if something happened to him that made him leave the earth. I'd like for you to connect with him telepathically and see why he is here 
and not back home with his own. What happened to him? They kicked him out. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why. Find out why. He was small and weak, weaker than the others. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't move things around easy, the rocks, the dirt. Mm -hmm. um, and he wasn't a nice, they didn't, he was just like, he was the geek. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> you know? And they just didn't want him around. They picked on him. Now let's ask him how long it's been since that's happened. Oh, thousand years mm -hmm. more. So let's find out if he has changed in these thousand years. Has he gotten stronger? Yes, being on the outside by himself, yes. All right. So let's ask him if he wants to take another chance and go back with his people now that he's stronger and wiser. He's still little, he's still little mm -hmm. than they are, they're bigger. Mm -hmm. And he's afraid that that's all they're going to see. All right, well, we don't know. We can't make assumptions, can we? Let's find out from him okay. if he is willing now to expand his own light so that they could see him. He bigger. didn't know he had one. Mm -hmm. Show him his light. Expand that light. Mm. And let's find out how that changes him. Does that make him bigger? Yeah, and his skin's not as leathery anymore. It's more fleshy. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and ask him to use that light to create the form that he needs in order to be welcomed back. He didn't know how to use his light. Oh, he didn't even... There. So what does he look like now? He's scary looking. Mm -hmm. He's definitely bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he can leave my house. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So I'd like to call in the angels of the white light. And I'd like for them to go ahead and escort him back. Back to his people. Yeah, that's right. Very good. And now that he's gone, I'd like to ask for Archangel Michael to go ahead and use his blue flame sword and let's clear out that entire house. <laughs> Completely decluttered of energy from anybody else. Wow. And let's seal that house so that only the ones who come into that house with pure heart will feel comfortable there, will be allowed in there. Very wow. good. So now let's do a body scan of Diane. I'd like for you to scan from head to toe. And I'd like to see what's going on with her body. Her light should be just white, shining white. If there's any shadows, any movements, any pinching, let me know where it is. Her brain mm -hmm. and her spinal cord, the muscles that run along the spine. All right. Which one do we want to take care of first? Oh, her back now. It hurts so All right. bad. So let's take a look at her back. I'd like for you to run energy up and down the back and tell me what's going on there. Is this something that's attached to her or something that she's created? Attached. Attached. Very good. So I'd like for you to look at this attachment and tell me if attachment has any color or shape. What does it look like? Little tiny 
like nano, those little nano robot things. All right. So let's find out. What put that attachment there? Did this attachment come on their own? Or was it put there? I'd like for you now to follow through and go through time and space. I'd like for you to, as you look at this spine, tell me if there's any word or sentence that comes up as you focus on these little nano particles. What reminds you of this? It's when I was little. All right, so let's go back when you were little. Go back in time. Allow yourself to go back and back. <gasps> and let's find out. I was happened. abducted. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'd like for you to go there now. I'd like for you to see what happened. Be there now. Oh my. Tell me what you see. Playing in the woods. I always have nobody to play with. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to acclimate yourself completely into that child's body. Talk to me as this child. I love my woods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my path. I have a circle I can run around. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters used to do it, but it's, it's almost covered mm -hmm. in dead leaves and stuff. We call it the path. But I go beyond that into the woods. All right, let's find out what's beyond the woods. What's there, Diane? There's a cow pasture. Mm hmm what do you see in that cow pasture? A ship. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this ship before? Other times. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. What happens next after you see the ship? Does anybody come out to meet you? <sighs> it's still there and it's... And it's just sitting there humming like a hum. Mm -hmm. I could hear it from my house. Mm -hmm. but that's when I knew I had to go out there. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Nobody, nobody can see it because mm -hmm. it's off the road. Nobody, nobody cares where I am. Um, what happens with that ship? I see three beings in it, in like the bubble on top. Mm -hmm. Is this ship very big? No. No. So do you see the, is it like a window bubble? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And tell me what these beings look like in there. They're staring at me. Mm -hmm. Do you recognize them? Have you seen them before? Yeah. Are they your friends? Mm -hmm. So connect with them telepathically. What do they tell you? It's time to go. Mm -hmm. So I walk towards the ship, but I just walk through it mm -hmm. and into it. Okay. I just, just walk through it. And then... What's inside? What do you see in there? Um... Chairs mm -hmm. and little lights. Where do you see these lights? On like a dashboard. Mm -hmm. Is anybody sitting there? Three people. The three guys. Mm -hmm. Three beings are, are and there's like a couch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like they have their chairs and then they. You know, telepathically, well, it's the only way we talk. Their lips are very, very thin and short. Mm -hmm. Are these big beings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're much taller. What do they look like? The Arcturians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so telepathically, I'd like for you to connect with them and let me know what they tell you. That they need to put, 
I do, that they need to work on me. Mm-hmm. So they take me and I don't think we had to leave the ship. Mm-hmm. Allow yourself now to see what they do to your body. Yeah, I see. It's like an IV, mm-hmm. but it's a fat tube. But they're spiritual, and and they care about us so much, and and they put their their hand, their palm over where they were going to stick the tube in, and that way it didn't hurt me. Mm-hmm. And then inside the clear tube. They just started pouring in these like little robot, like a fly or an ant. They're tiny. Mm -hmm. They're tinier than that. And what is the purpose of them putting this inside? Connect with them telepathically and let's find out what what it is that they're putting in you. What is that for? Oh, they are just recording. Mm Mm-hmm. My system, all my systems. So I'd like for you to connect telepathically and find out if this is going to cause you any type of discomfort as you get bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've been in there too long. All right. So I'd like for you now to tell me what happens next. Oh my goodness. What happens? They're disintegrating. Mm-hmm. And then the pain's going away. Mm-hmm. They're apologizing. Mm-hmm. They're sorry. They're so sorry. Let's find out if there's anything else in your body that has been causing you to have spasms, paralysis, discomfort. Have them look at your body and let's find out what's causing all of these things in your body, your knees, your stumbling. and do the scan and see if there's anything else that they can help you with now that they understand that they have been influencing your health in a negative way for so many years your immune system they were so sorry Mm -hmm. and they said that everything's going to start turning around now very good it'll take time but it'll everything will turn around Let's find out. I'd like to ask about the migraines. What's been causing the migraines? Are they influencing that? Yes. Mm -hmm. It was putting too much pressure in her brain. Very good. So since they've been doing damage, I'd like them to go ahead and begin beaming their lights and their technology into this body to begin healing, begin repairing any damage. I know that they have a way to use technology to reverse anything that they've done to regenerate the cells and bring back the youth like for them to go ahead and begin beaming that technology into this body.
let me know when they are done. Being super careful to make sure they get it all. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, they're done. Very good. So I'd like to ask another favor of your friends. We understand that Diana's a nurse. She's here to help other people. Can I ask for some sort of assistance? That when she is working with other people, that she be given a gift to telepathically connect with them even more than she's done before. Very good. Do they have anything else to tell Diane today? But she's doing a spectacular job. She's on the right path, mm -hmm. and we're very sorry for anything that we've done that's negative. Um, you heard the call. That's why you were born. And you took the first available body you could get, and that just happened to be your, your parents. Mm -hmm. Now, is her path leading her to this fifth dimensional world? Or is she going to go back to source or recycle? She'll have a choice All to right. go back to source or to 5D. Mm -hmm. Will she have another opportunity to transition? She's had many near-death experiences already. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. So now I'd like to... Call back Angelica. Yeah. Angelica, why is it that Diane was brought to this session today? To reassure herself of going forward on the path of staying in this area and to be able to grow and blossom into a phenomenal reader and to learn how to start with small groups and lead to larger and teach all about unconditional love at every event she'll ever do mm -hmm. she has to mention and always has un mentioned unconditional love because that's what humans were supposed to to do not war mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that got messed up on that timeline very good very good is there anything else that i could have asked that i didn't that you would like to tell her today anything else no very good wonderful all over wow <laughs> <laughs> Mm. The water was cold. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Let's switch those up. Let's get you some shun guide in your hands. Oh, yeah. Let's get you grounded. How did you feel? Really good. How's your body feel? Much better. Yeah. Yeah. You had a lot of little stuff in there. Yeah, huh? some weird stuff. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, had a little mind of its own. Yeah, I guess. And what I got from it was they were little robots. Yeah, and they, they robots. Yeah, and they were like just keeping up with my systems. Yeah, well, Why would they want to keep up with my system? Well, that's how they do it. It's like a tracking device. Why would we put stuff on whales and dolphins? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, do. yeah. So how I long don't... do you think this journey was? How did it feel to you? Know, like Forty-five minutes. Uh, an hour and thirty-eight minutes right now. Oh my gosh! Mm. Yeah. 
We did a lot today. Wow. We even helped Bob go back home. Thanks, Bob. Do you remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Do you remember most of it or not? Um, yeah, a lot. Yeah, Bob's lot. the officer that helped you when you were in the accident. <gasps> yes, him. Mm-hmm. Cool dude. Yeah, the guy who died. Yeah. Interesting, huh? Yeah, he was very sweet. He did really well. Yeah. You're you're gonna be out there. <laughs> How did how's your mind feel? You getting more messages now? Um Yeah, I mean it's kind of blown. It's kind of blown? <laughs> yeah. The, the fuse is blown, it's too much. It's just, <laughs> I you're don't blank even right know now. what to think. Yeah. So we did it. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. You did wonderful. Thank you so much. I don't even have there's not words. Amazing's not big enough. To so what this. experience did you have coming out of this now? What what, what do you feel? Um, I feel healthier. Mm. Yeah. And um, the attachments are gone. Yeah. And from the abduction, um, having the little nanoparticles removed. Now that was really wild. Yeah. So tell everybody what it is that brought you here. What did you expect from this session? Um, I had seen a few on YouTube and thought they were interesting. <laughs> and I had an appointment with Dolores Cannon, but she transitioned. Mm-hmm. So then I knew Alba was here and I live in Florida. So mm-hmm. I waited, signed up for her newsletter and it came a few days later and I clicked on the very last appointment for August 5th. So yeah. it's been amazing. Yeah. It was just meant to be. You know, I so when this. people wonder if it's me- if you're ever going to get an appointment, if you're meant to come here, you will make it. Now, yeah. what um, what do you remember the most from this session? What was the most like? Uh, having, knowing that I've been abducted. Yeah. Knowing that um, it's okay because mm-hmm. these are good beings, and knowing that I had um, a demon in me. Um, well, we don't call them demons. <laughs> They're just fuzzy <laughs> he was, bunny. <laughs> he, he, he was just a lost soul that been cocked up. You know, yeah. the, the whole idea is they're never going to get anything by by working for the for the dark side. I mean, right. it's it's yeah. He forgot who he was. Yeah, yeah. And he's so like, well, you know, he was afraid of uh, of Michael because, like, you're not going to bring Michael in here, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Michael, <laughs> don't bring Michael in. <laughs> but it's like Michael said, "Come on, yeah. come with me." So it's yeah. it That's, was it was nice. And it's all about seeing that light. Exactly, it's exactly. See that light. Now, Diane, what is it that you do that's special? Well, tell everybody. I um, am a Arcturian soul ambassador, mm-hmm. and that means that I'm able to take one or a group of people mm-hmm. up into meditation mm-hmm. into the astral plane and go into the Octurians um, pyramids and mm-hmm. they can do crystal and light work on your chakra system and turn it more crystalline than carbon and mm. um, they do other things and they're all healthy and and very helpful for you. So if you want an experience like this, get a hold of her because I think it'd be really mm-hmm. cool. And you also are able to connect with people psychically. Yes, I am a medium and I can also get people who are alive too if they're important in your life mm-hmm. and you need to find out some information. Yes. Their higher yeah. self. You connect with yes. their higher self. Yeah. 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 I forget she's up there. Yeah, <laughs> she's always there. And today we spoke with your guide, Angelica. She was the beautiful. Oh yeah, not nice. And you're a handful for her. So <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, she's beautiful. Amazing, Amazing huh? Yeah. So you like the session? It was wonderful. Yeah. So how does your body feel? Because you've had a lot of issues with your body. Yeah, autoimmune problems. And right now I feel wonderful. Mm-hmm. I had a pain in my back when I laid down but it was gone it's totally gone. gone yeah I have a cane and I'm on oxygen and stuff and I don't have any of that today so 
Yeah, they're working on this. They're working on it yeah, too. They good, are. Good. Yeah. So do you recommend this experience for other people? I completely do. It, it will change you. Mm -hmm. And once I listen back to it, I'll probably be even more surprised and shocked. But just knowing, just from waking up out of it, it's amazing. And you'll just feel so much better. Yeah. And you'll know things that you w want to know or need to know about yourself, but you don't know because it's hidden so deep. It's repressed. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. So if you want an experience like this, just go to my website, albaweinman.com. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on that website. Just take a look at it. A lot of your answers will be answered there. It's a new website. And um, I keep adding to it now. I'm also doing events all around the world so that we can gather our tribe and for you to not be as lonely out there, you can share your experiences with other people. So go to my website, albawyman.com. Sign up for the newsletter. There is a link on that uh, website for the newsletter. And that newsletter comes out about once a month. If it's your time, you will see it. You may want to put my uh, website address on there for your favorites. That way you see it right away. Uh, and then when it comes out, just click on the link and they go like that Seriously. so really if you opened up that email five minutes late it's gone because they go really fast there's lots of people trying to get these these things and if it's your time you will okay so don't give up hope well I get I hope I get to meet you sometime soon thank you for watching and um, if you can't see me at, an, at, at a hypnosis session catch me at an event and we can get a hug there okay Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Give me that Thank hug. Thank you. Mm.